So this project right here is a, uh, a father-son type deal. Uh, my son wants to put together a puzzle, and so we did. And as I was putting together the puzzle, I got to thinking, you know, so what are we going to do with this puzzle after, uh, after we're done with it? And I decided to go ahead and make a table out of it. So here I am cutting up the plywood, which is going to be the base of the puzzle, which will also be the uh, base of the mold that I'm about to show you a picture of I didn't even get any video of me actually making it but you'll see the picture here shortly and here it is and after the mold dried I cut the uh, outside edges off to the edge of the puzzle to even it up And I'm just measuring out uh, where all sides will be even on the base of this plywood here. And here I am spreading the glue out to uh, put the puzzle on there. And I went round and round about how to do this. I thought about using a rabbit. Uh, but I just decided to go ahead and put an extra piece of plywood down and let it be the support for the hardwood that I'm going to use, which is going to be... Uh, black walnut I'm just placing some calls across this to apply even pressure all the way across so it gets glued down really well And here I'm just checking to make sure it's even all the way around. And now it's dry. Next day, I come out. I remove the calls. And here I'm measuring to see how what the width is that I need to cut the uh, walnut to. And here's the rough piece of walnut. It's a uh, twelve four, I believe. 12 quarter which simply means it's three inches thick and I cut it down to size and now I'm going to joint one face and get it nice and flat then I'm going to joint one of the edges and once I get that edge flat I'm going to put it on the planer And uh, at this point, I'm not using the planer as a thicknesser. I'm just flattening it out, so I've got two flat faces. And now I'm using the table saw to make that last side parallel to the other side. And I was going to resolve this on my bandsaw but I don't ever have much luck doing that so I'm gonna go ahead and use the table saw to resaw them but obviously I'm gonna need to have smaller pieces so here I'm just making small cuts each time to reduce the get burn on the wood and also to not put so much uh, make the saw work too hard and there's also some bad pieces in this wood that I'm going to cut out and then I'll glue them back together in order to make these panels for this table. And 
and as you can see there seeing them how they're gonna go back together and here um, this is where I'm doing the resawing tried to split it down the middle as close as I possibly could but it wasn't perfect See, split that in half. Now I've got two books, book match pieces. And now I'm going to use my biscuit joiner here and uh, glue up these panels. I'm just making a line here. This is why I know where the biscuit joiner is going to go. And now we're going to glue them up. And for me, I mainly just use the, the, the biscuits just mainly to line everything up. So, you know, it makes things a lot easier. Because I really don't have to use, worry about using any calls or anything. And now I'm just cutting the panels down to size, squaring the ends up. And now I'm going to change out the data to a dado stack on my table saw because I'm going to use half laps on these. Um, on these uh, boards for the uh, table, the planks, panels, whatever you want to call it. So basically what I'll end up doing is at the end of each panel or plank, I'll cut half of the material off. So they'll overlap on the corners to basically form the thickness of what the board originally was. Using my miter gauge on my table saw here to keep everything nice and lined up and see what I'm saying I'm just taking half of it off and then on the piece that's going to match up to that piece it'll basically be half off of it as well which equals one full board Yes, it does look uneven right there, but it's not. It's just because I didn't have it pushed down. Oh, excuse me. It's because I got to cut some off. <laughs> so that's what I was doing. I was drawing a line where it needed to be cut. And I'm just going to continue to do the glue up here. Once the glue dry, take the clamps off. And I'm gonna do 
quite a bit of sanding. There's a lot of burn marks that I had to get off this wood. And now I'm just going to do a round over on the edges. And I'm using mineral spirits here to try to get some of the, um, the dust up. And get it ready to put some finish on. I used the Watco Natural, you know, Walnut really doesn't need any help. You need to put some clear coat on Walnut and it's going to be beautiful, as you can tell with this right here. Walnut definitely has some nice character to it, I love working with that. And for the legs, I went ahead and got some of the plumber piping and just going to make a, a simple base for the table. It's about, uh, I believe 16 inches is what it comes to off the ground from the base to the floor. And basically here I'm using a straight edge to try to get everything even and uh, using a centering drill bit to drill these holes and attaching some of the legs. And here in a second I, I brought my son out so he could screw some of these legs down. We started the project together by making the puzzle and I wanted him to be a part of finishing the table as well. So here he is putting in some of the final screws doing an awesome job. He'll be going into high school this year. Becoming a young man. And here we are taking the table and flipping it over. And I really, really like how this came out. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the project and uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you.